today we will discuss how we can help the patients with unicornial uterus and poor reproductive outcome we all know that these patients unfortunately have a recurrent abortions of increases in gestational age and at some point they reach to the stage where we can have a 32 34 weeks of pregnancy with every abortion the volume of the uterine cavity increases i have presented the work to in 2007 with my seven cases we received the best paper award where we decreased or we did hysteroscopically the today the world is lateral metroplasty but we did not do lateral metroplasty we converted the tubular cavity into the triangular one so at the fundus we went horizontal and then we came down in 2005 6 when we were doing this surgery lateral metroplasty was not so well spoken term and we used to call conversion of tubular cavity into triangular cavity on those seven patients we got five patients reaching to 34 weeks pregnancy but does that mean it is evidence based no fortunately for two decades i am doing this unfortunately for two decades i am doing this surgery but i have never compiled the data and published so i don't think i should call this as a evidence based but what alternative do we have we just wait and watch for their recurrent abortions is there any side effect of this surgery so today i'm going to show you the primary hysteroscopy and then second look hysteroscopy also equally important was to think whether with the estrogen and progesterone can i maintain this cavity those era two decades ago i had only estrogen and progesterone to think about for the development of the cavity or maintenance of the cavity today i have prps i have stem cells i can think of so many other options but friends believe me even during those period we got beautiful roomy cavity in second look i hope i you all will enjoy and some day many more people will join hands to convert this tubular cavity into triangular and we may come out with the larger data and maybe evidence based publication thank you so this is a unicorn uterus friends we all know what are the tips and tricks i would like to say this is a unedited video i am putting in i usually will go with the good intrauterine pressure so that you are always in the center you are neither anterior or posterior to the wall secondly i will take a blunt scissors so that i don't overdo because if i perfor it i will spoil her complete obstetric career now coronal opening is our indicator so i'm going towards the cornu that cornu tells me that this is a fundus have a habit of withdrawing your telescope from time to time to visualize the entire room now this is probably if i don't cut may become like a central septum and if you see with the hydro pressure few fibers open up now i'm not going to go much in there because i can do further in second sitting as well but this is probably the designed corno of a contralateral side and i'm cutting and making in the fundus and can you see that just with the small nicks fiber by fiber dissection millimeter by millimeter keep on cutting the hydro pressure will also helps you you can see half white cavity and half pink cavity but definitely the tubular cavity got converted into triangular one now the importance is can i maintain that cavity i'm just decreasing the pressure to confirm that there is a good blood flow coming in this patient i have not done any stem cell or prp this triangular cavity i'm sure you are appreciating it and this is my very old video of 2007 and i will show you the second look now here at second look 
see the cavity is definitely roomy i can further cut it and make it more roomy and then think about asking them to try naturally so friends i hope you enjoyed this surgery as much i enjoyed creating and performing it thank you